2024 is going to be an interesting year for Halo Infinite. A lot of things are changing and being reworked to fit the model that they're pushing forward now with this game. And the recent update we just received of Content Update 29, real nice ring to it, with the Spirit of Fire operation, and the recent leaks that just came out showcase that this is pretty much going to be what we can expect for Halo moving forward, most likely throughout 2024. While it's nice that we can unlock all of the items within the past for free, you don't have to jump in and pay for any of this, free 20 tiers to get some cool content for you guys to customize your Spartans with, which is fantastic. Plus this evolved MA5, it just looks so good. If you guys like these informative videos, make sure to tap like, and if you want to stay updated with everything going on with Halo, subscribe, and let's get right back into the details. But there's one thing I don't really see a whole lot of people talking about, which was crucial to the battle pass system that's not going to be involved with the operations. And that's the fact throughout the 20 tiers here, which is free, which is great, there is no way right now to currently earn credits within the game. That was a really nice benefit of the battle pass system to be able to earn enough credits to get yourself another battle pass. And while this Mark IV core is amazing and some of the cross core that's available for it is also great, but it can also be rather limited. And one way to alleviate that limitation that's currently within this core at the moment is, well, spending money within the shop. Because all of these armor sets work for the Mark IV core, but it's not available for you to unlock at all through playing the game. You have to spend hard earned cash to be able to customize your Spartan in this amazing armor set. And I have a feeling this is gonna be a trend we're gonna be seeing throughout 2024. If you're like me as someone who works in an office and your free time is spent gaming, you're sitting down most of the day. Research shows that sitting down for an extended period of time can lead to health issues that can affect your heart and your metabolism. Well, FlexiSpot offers a great variety of desks you can use for sitting and standing. This L-shaped desk offers a larger desktop which is ideal for those with multiple devices, dual monitors, and PCs. A multi-function panel lets you adjust to your height and you can actually save presets. For a bonus, it even has a USB charging port. And let me tell you, stability means the most when it comes to a desk and FlexiSpot standing desk has no wobble to it even on a carpet at full height. Meaning the only thing that's going to be shaking are your hands during intense gaming sessions. I've used FlexiSpot desks for years and is my go-to for affordable ergonomic desks and more. Check out FlexiSpot linked in the description and in the pinned comment but let's get right back into those details. This is the recent leaked information about Cyber Showdown 3's Operation Pass. As you can see, it's very similar to the Spirit of Fire Operation, where most of it you get the one bonus thing, which is like a nice little coating. That's cool, I guess. And a lot of filler stuff pretty much right up until level 12, just like how it is with the Spirit of Fire Operation. Then you actually get one set of armor, but it's mainly focused on the Chimera Core. And the exact same thing happening again for Yappening 2, where it's a lot of filler stuff, pretty much like XP boosts, some maybe a weapon charm which is all right and a lot of emblems and things like that and not really until level 12 is when you start getting the armor pieces which really are what people want when it comes to customization and you really just get one set of armor so what i'm trying to say here is that most likely with each operation you get one nice little set of armor for free that's pretty nice but most of the stuff you really want to customize your spartan you gotta spend your money you gotta drop some bucks here in a recent video by hitting Xperia, did a great job of breaking down the customization availability for your spartan with this update and it doesn't really look that great as 11% of the total unlocks for the Mark IV for total customization is available within the pass. And then 89% of that total customization is available only through the shop behind a paywall which would equate to $121. And this definitely looks to be the path moving forward for Halo Infinite because the Spirit of Fire operation runs until March 5th and then we will have Cyber Showdown 3 which will go from March 5th until April 1st. And then once April 1st passes, then we have the Yappening to come by on April 2nd and last until April 29th. And the thing is like, yeah, we can voice our opinions about this, be like, hey, we need a little bit of extra stuff to be able to earn through gameplay, right? That's one of the biggest issues with Halo Infinite, it's just getting people to play the game. But the biggest issue with Halo Infinite, as we've seen throughout the years, is the content pipeline. It's been no secret that 343 has really been struggling to get content out for people to jump on and play as a live service type of game. And moving away from the seasonal model to an operation model definitely shows that they're really just going to be able to 
update the game when they have enough content ready for people to play rather than having this tied down three to four month type of block where you need to have a new update or locking new content and just waiting for that arbitrary date to come by to where you can update the game. But seeing as the yapping and the Cyber Showdown operations look very similar, almost identical to the Spirit of Fire operation, makes me feel there's gonna be a, even more of an emphasis of the shop throughout 2024. And with the recent live stream that we had from 343, kind of give us a little bit of a roadmap of what to expect throughout this year. A lot of it was Forge content. A lot of it was adding to what's already there, like refreshes when it comes to B2B, Husky Raid, and Squad Battles. So when it comes to these content updates, I'm honestly not really expecting a whole lot to come to the game to really get people excited to jump in and play and actually spend money playing because the product that we we're receiving at the moment is well not the full vision that they have for the game and we never really actually got that as we documented in depth when it comes to the layoffs that happened in early 2023 and then we had the narrative cutscenes being dropped from season four and now we're moving away from the seasonal model to this content update model very similar to the master chief collection where it just kind of update the game when you can it just kind of makes me feel like 343 is just kind of letting infinite kind of run its course and then just kind of put a little bit more emphasis on the store to, to squeeze out a little extra cash as much as you can about it and 343 did mention there will be a way for players to earn a form of spartan points in a way like you could when it comes to the master chief collection to unlock various weekly ultimate rewards that have got, come and passed or various rewards that were tied to promotions having spartan points available for you to earn would be an amazing opportunity to have it outside of way for players to earn extra points to spend on customization imagine being in the shop right here and seeing like yeah 1800 credits you know all over the place here 2000 credits for some armor sets as well but then also having like a little spot like right next to it saying like you'll have to earn 50 spartan points to be able to utilize these that would be a really excellent way to really incentivize players to just jump in and keep playing the game have it just be like xp based time based where you just x amount of games you play or x amount of xp that you earn you get a spartan point and you can utilize those spartan points within the shop to be able to earn customization that would be absolutely fantastic and maybe just right now 343 doesn't have the ability to implement the spartan point system quite yet though it doesn't really feel like they are going to do that, but this would be just a perfect opportunity for 343 to get a chance of players to just earn customization by playing the game. And clearly 343 are trying to put infinite in the past and look to the future and make new project, plural projects, when it comes to the Halo franchise. So is 2024 really like the last year 343 feels like they can get actual money, like a decent revenue source from Halo Infinite, and that's why they're putting a bigger emphasis on shop items. I just feel like if you're moving away from a game like 343 is with Halo Infinite, I just feel like you would throw the community a little bit of a bone, just be like, hey, you know what? Thank you for playing our game. Here's a way for you to just grind out content. Like, yeah, it might take a lot of time to earn enough points to get one of these different bits of customization when it comes to these armor sets, but at least you can do that. And we lost that industry standard when it came to the battle passes to be able to earn credits by just playing the game. I do this within Modern Warfare 3 all the time. I actually earned up like 1500 credits by just playing the game. And then I can use those credits in the store to buy whatever I would like for customization. That's really great. And the community pushed so hard to have earnable credits within the game to then have that be removed for this operation system. It just feels like the reward for playing the game by doing like these weekly ultimate challenges, which are great. Like the one that we have right now when it comes to the Kai's helmet looks fantastic. Like this is exactly what stuff we can unlock should be for weekly ultimates rather than just having a regular type of emblem or backdrop or anything like that like this kind of content right here kai's helmet we're also gonna get riz we're gonna get vanix helmet as well as weekly ultimates that is a great incentive to get people to play extra customization actual content people care about imagine if you're able to earn credits for free by just playing the game utilizing say the sparring point system that's coming in later this year People will grind for free money. They will. I just hope 343 finds some way to reward players for their time. Modern monetization in gaming has realized that that's the biggest thing you can ask from the player is their time. There are so many great games out there that people can jump in and play whatever they like. And so to get players to play your game, you need to offer something that's beneficial to them and more than what the competition has to offer. And Halo is coming from a bit of an underdog position behind games like Call of Duty, Apex, Fortnite, Rainbow Six Siege even. Because I know if I'm able to earn Spartan points to spend in the store and just have it be XP based and just the more time you put into it, the more you can unlock, well, well, you'll get my time.